Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about an extraction method that was widely used in alchemy. This extraction method works with ammonium chloride. In the old days ammonium chloride was called salmiac. Actually it's still called salmiac by some people. And so what happens here in a chemical sense? When you heat up ammonium chloride to about 340 degrees, it will start to break apart. When it breaks apart, the ammonium chloride will um, break apart into ammonia and hydrochloric acid. So when this happens in a confined space, the ammonia and the hydrochloric acid will combine again and form ammonium chloride in the cooler space. The cool thing about it is that um, while the sublimation happens, it will carry in an alchemical sense the valuable parts, the sulfur, the, the salt of the mineral with it and uh, the salt of the mineral will be in the sublimate. So a couple of words about the setup. Before I was talking about the confined space where the extraction will take place. For this I'm having these two Purex dishes here. They are pretty thick glass and temperature resistant. So this is how the extraction will take place. To the heating system here I have a very inexpensive hot plate. It costed about 19 euros or something so really cheap and I had to tune it a little bit. What have I done? Within there is a thermo element that basically regulates the heating. So once when the plate gets too hot, you know the thermo element will simply disconnect the heating and this uh, keeps the hot plate at a certain temperature, which is not that high. I wanted more temperature, so I had to modify it. What have I done? I simply shortcutted the thermo element, so now the hot plate is heating consistently. Um, which gives it a nice red hot color. Of course, the hot plate is not built for that. It will eventually burn at some point. Till now it kept on working, but we'll see how long it lasts. But however, you know, 19 euros is not so much, so I can get a new hot plate. Um, I don't want it to heat really permanently because this will destroy the hot plate very fast. So I use uh, this temperature regulator here. It's actually from my muffle oven. So the next step is really simple. I have here prepared 100 grams of ammonium chloride, 50 grams of uh, mineral powder that I want to extract. The idea is just to put it together, mix it truly and put the confined space, the two Pyrex dishes, on the hot plate. And that's what we're going to do now. So the operation is finally done. What you can see here, these are the ammonium chloride crystals that have formed. And um, it carried the alchemical sulfur with it. On a chemical side, the alchemical sulfur represents mainly metal oxides and some chlorides that have formed during the process. So now it's time to check out the crystals that I have formed. Actually not so much crystals at the bottom of the flask, but the majority of the crystals are here at the top of the pan. Actually you can even see through the pan, so the sublimate is higher up than the residue, the caput mortem, the dead matter, that has to be thrown away. And the next 
mission is to get the crystals out without mixing it back to the residue. So now it's time to dissolve the ammonium chloride in water. Why we are doing that? Because the oxides should not get in solution. Whenever there are chlorides inside, they will go in solution, but we are in that process after the oxides. Because once we have the oxides um, without the other stuff, you know, we can perform further alchemical operations. Like for example, following the acid path. So make an acetate of that stuff, distill the acetate and obtaining a tincture of the particular mineral. So when we process an iron ore for example, we are getting a tincture of Mars. When we are processing a copper ore, we are getting a tincture of Venus. And so on and so on. So now we are going to perform the filtration. For the filtration I will use a special filter paper. This has a pore width of about 450 nanometer. So it's really fine and it will ensure that I really get a hold on all the particles in there. Um, I measured the weight of the filter paper so in the end I can calculate how much um, product this method will produce. I have a suspicion that lots of the material ended up as chlorides, especially um, iron chloride that you can see here. We'll see how much oxides we are getting. So the filtration is done, but you can see here that's the filter water, it still contains all the ammonium chloride and it seems to me that it also contains a lot of iron tree chloride that is formed during the process. I would have wished to have more of the, the iron, not as a chloride because it's solvable in water, but as an oxide to filter it out. That stuff that you can see here, that's our alchemical sulfur. It's basically the, the oxides of the metal. It's not much. It's about 100 milligrams. Um, according that we started with 50 grams, it's not a super yield. I have done this process in the past too, but with different minerals, for example with Stibnit and the yield was much higher. So I don't quite understand why this time the yield was so small, but probably because a lot of the iron was converted to iron 3 chloride and didn't go through the process very well as an oxide. I could probably improve the process by simply roasting the ore beforehand uh, in a tube furnace at 600 degrees 
under a high oxygen atmosphere. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.